Welcome back. I'm Ann Hessian, and today we're going to talk about how do you release emotional baggage from the past, and it's easier than you think. Hi, I'm Ann Hessian. I'm a medical intuitive and an energy healing practitioner. And we're talking today about emotional baggage, what it is and what's involved in clearing it from our bodies, our hearts, our minds, and our lives. Before we can understand what it takes to clear it, let's get clear about what it is. As I talked about in my what is emotional baggage video, the term emotional baggage can mean different things to different people. I explain it is that it is trapped emotional energy from the past that's literally stuck in our bodies and continuing to affect our health and our ability to heal as well as coloring and filtering our experience of life. It's causing us to repeat unhealthy or destructive patterns in some cases, keep out love and vitality, get upset over things that maybe don't really need to upset us so much, all because we're dragging around this emotional baggage, this trapped emotional energy from the past. Now, there's a common belief out there that in order to get rid of emotional baggage, we have to talk about it, analyze it, understand it, maybe even relive it. And while I do think that there are times when each of those things can be helpful, in my experience, they're not necessary most of the time. And in fact, individual pieces of emotional baggage can be cleared and cleared permanently in only seconds. The most common form that this emotional baggage takes in our bodies is what we call a trapped emotion. I'm going to explain that. And I also want to recommend the book, The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson, if you want to learn more about it later. A trapped emotion is a small ball of energy that's resonating at the frequency of a particular emotion, like anger or overwhelm, or maybe feeling taken for granted. Most people have hundreds, at least, of trapped emotions, and each one is about the size of a, your fist or maybe up to the size of a grapefruit, and they're located somewhere in your body or your body's energy field. There's more than one way that we get these trapped emotions in our bodies in the first place. We can create them ourselves, we can absorb them from other people, and we can inherit them. By far, the most common source of trapped emotions are the ones that we created ourselves. So you felt a certain emotion at some particular moment in your life, and for some reason you didn't process it fully at the time. Unconsciously, you held onto it, and so it got trapped in your body and it's still there, creating an imbalance that can cause problems in your life and your health for years. We can also absorb trapped emotions from other people, sometimes as early as in the womb, where we can absorb a trapped emotion from our mom or someone else that's around at that time. And sometimes we can also absorb them later in life. This is not nearly as common as trapping our own emotions, but it does happen. And some people are more vulnerable to this than others, more likely to take on other people's energies. And if that's you, you probably already know that about yourself. And I want you to know that's something that an energy healer can help with <laughs> to make you less vulnerable to that. So less likely to continue taking on other people's energy and emotions in the future, as well as clearing what's already there that you may have taken on in the past. And lastly, and this is where it gets really interesting, we can inherit trapped emotions from our parents. When this happens, we inherit it at the moment of conception from either mom or dad. And so the trapped emotion is part of us from the very beginning of life, affecting our bodies and affecting how we experience the world from even before we're born. There is some fascinating research out there that was done with Holocaust survivors and their children that backs up this idea of inherited emotional trauma but I promise you from experience, it doesn't take that level of horrific trauma for trapped emotions to be passed on. Almost everyone I've worked with has at least some inherited trapped emotions. And in some cases, it goes back many, many generations having been passed on from parent to child for hundreds of years in some cases. So how do we clear these trapped emotions? Well, as an energy healer, what I do is I work with my clients to first identify what trapped emotions are underlying the health or life issue that they want worked on. I already mentioned the book, The Emotion Code. You can learn the basics of how to do this yourself from The Emotion Code book. And as a certified emotion code practitioner, that's the primary method that I use to identify these trapped emotions that are causing issues for my clients and clear them. And once you've cleared a trapped emotion, that specific trapped emotion is gone for good. It does not come back. If you want to better understand how that looks and what happens in a session to clear this trapped emotional baggage, here's an example. 
I had a client who came to me with severe stomach pains. She had had them for several months. She had been to several doctors, but unfortunately, nothing they had tried had helped. And let me just take this moment to say that releasing trapped emotions is not medical care. It's not a substitute for medical care. And if you are experiencing severe abdominal pain, you absolutely should go see a doctor right away. I would, okay? And in this case, she had done that and they could not figure out what was causing her pain. After much testing, they weren't even able to give a diagnosis and none of the treatment they had tried had made any significant difference. And this has been going on for several months when she came to me. She rated the pain as being an eight on a scale of one to 10, so it was pretty bad. In the type of energy healing that I practice, I'm connecting with the client's subconscious mind, which has a vast amount of information about what's going on in your body that's not available to your conscious mind. This is something that should only ever be done with the person's conscious permission, and it's something that you can learn to do as well, even if you don't think you can. <laughs> and the Emotion Code book is a great place to learn more about that. So in the first session, I connected with her subconscious and I asked what were the true underlying imbalances that were causing her issues. I found a number of trapped emotions that according to her subconscious mind were underlying the severe pain. I cleared those and there are several different ways to clear them. The most commonly taught one is to use a magnet or some part on some part of the governing meridian of the body, which is one of the acupuncture meridians. Because energy healing is working not directly on the physical body, but with the person's spirit and energy body, all of this work can be done over distance. It doesn't require being with or physically touching the person in any way. So we did all of this over the phone where I, as the practitioner, act as a proxy for the person being worked on. So I identified the trapped emotions and then did the clearing on my governing meridian as the proxy for her until we had cleared all we could for that day. Then we stopped to give her body some time to process that change and to do some healing. By the second session, which was just the next day, she reported she'd been very tired after the session, which is pretty common as the body processes the clearing and starts to use more energy to heal. But the pain was already down to a three from an eight. We did some more clearing of trapped emotions as well as a few other types of imbalances that I also found and then gave her a few days to process that. Three days later, she reported feeling no pain at all. We did do some additional work to help her complete her healing process, but months later, I can tell you that that severe pain has not recurred. I have a lot of stories like that, but I wanna be clear that it isn't always the case that people get results that quickly. I've had many clients where the, where the results showed up but the body's healing process and the work of clearing the underlying trapped emotions and other imbalances took weeks instead of days. But the bottom line is when we remove the blocks, the imbalances and especially the emotional imbalances that are preventing healing, our bodies do have a remarkable ability to heal. So it's not me that's doing the healing, <laughs> it's you. It's your body, cell by cell, that's healing, just like it has always had the core ability to do. But what happens is that we're clearing that emotional baggage, those trapped emotions that have been preventing the healing process. And that lets the incredible healing power of the body get unleashed. I also want you to know that even the inherited trapped emotions can be released. It's a little different, but it's not a lot more complicated than releasing your own emotions. And the results from that can be very profound. But that's a topic for another day. So is that helpful? I'd love to hear your comments below. So feel free to check out the information, subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more, and we'll see you next time.